Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use parse int function with a radix. Parse int function parses a string and returns an integer. It takes a second argument for the radix, which specifies the number, the base of the number in the string. The radix can be an integer between 2 and 36. The function call looks the function call looks like this. Parse int string radix. For example, parse int of 11 at 2. The radix variable says that 11 is the binary system, or base 2. This example converts the string of 11 to an integer of 3. Use parse int in, this, in the convert to integer function. So it converts binary number to an integer and returns it. OK, so this is pretty crazy. I'm not really understanding why this is important. So let's just return parse int of the value that's being passed in string and then they want it to be at base 2 which doesn't make a lot of sense to me so we run the test that doesn't work uh, to an integer 3 converts 11 to 3 so uh, convert it inches so that it converts a binary number to an integer and returns it a binary number should return should return 19 so if I just console log this so I can see what's going on uh, it looks like nothing comes out convert into parsing the radius can be an integer between 2 and 36 well, what if I make it 3? Convert integer parse in. String. Strings being passed in. Convert. <coughs> Convert to integer should use parse int function. Convert to integer should return a number. The string P oh <laughs> parse int. Oh my gosh. And then two. Okay. And that should pass to come out to nineteen. Now to be perfectly honest, I don't even understand why they did this. Uh if you're dealing with these crazy radix numbers, it doesn't make a lot of sense to be learning that right now. It seems like confusing to me. But uh if you were stuck on it. Check that you didn't you didn't misspell parse or int like I did, and then your string is passed in from here, so you convert this. And then if you were to say convert uh, twenty seven, um, then it oh, and then maybe it would change. Okay, so that's not a valid uh, thing. So whatever. This is the uh, the answer that'll get the test to pass. And the I guess the idea is to learn that parse int can take additional arguments that will alter the types of feedback that you get. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.